Today, I'll walk you through how to track video analytics in WordPress, and we'll cover it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. So by default, you can have videos say on YouTube and you can see the analytics on there through the YouTube studio. But a lot of times people will put their videos on their website. And this is a great way to boost engagement, keep people on your website, but you don't know if people are even looking at them, if they're watching them, how far are they watching or how long are they watching? And that's where video analytics on your actual website comes in. By default, Google Analytics doesn't show this, but with the use of Monster Insights and Google Analytics, you can track things like your YouTube videos on there. You can also track any HTML5 or embedded videos on your site or even Vimeo. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you already have Monster Insights running. If you're using Monster Insights Lite, then that really is helping you see all the analytics on your website. For this video, we'll be using the pro version or higher simply because that is the media add-on that allows you to connect video analytics with your Google Analytics. So you want to head over to Monster Insights and pick at least the pro version or higher. Once you set up an account, you can log in. Once you log in, you wanna to go to your downloads area and download Monster Insights. While you're here, you also want to go ahead and copy your license key. And now we're finished with Monster Insights. We can head back over to our dashboard so we can upload and install the plugin. So go to plugins, add new. And from here, we want to upload the plugin. You can choose file and go and find where you just downloaded it. If you have it down here, you can also left click and drag it over and then it'll be available for you to install. Let's go ahead and install now and let's activate the plugin. Now it'll go through a process of walking you through a wizard that will show you how to connect Monster Insights with Google Analytics. You'll want to already have Google Analytics installed. If you don't, you can watch this video. So I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create Google Analytics profile and set it up for your site. So I want to paste our license key to connect with Monster Insights. And then once you hit connect, you'll go out and connect it with the Google account that has Google Analytics installed. You, If you only have one account, then you'll only see one here. If you have multiple, Websites, then you'll want to choose the website that you're connecting and complete connection. And then we'll go through the final authentication and finalize everything for you. Now it's going to come in and load some settings. And by default, there are some recommended settings that they'll already do, like events tracking. This is for like any type of click. Somebody has a click to call or anything on your website, they don't track any of those clicks by default. Scrolling down though, we see affiliate link tracking, who can see the reports. We're okay with all of this. Let's just go ahead and click continue. And now you have a few other items that they're going to recommend. We can save and continue. And then we can finally finish and exit the wizard. If this is the first time you're installing Google Analytics on your site, then it may take up to 24 hours before you start to see any of the data on your site. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually add the add-on that is the media add-on. So let's go over to the left. Under Insights, we're looking at add-ons. And scrolling down, we're looking for media add-on. Let's go ahead and install this. And this is what enables you to track the viewing of any Vimeo, any uploaded videos to your media library or any YouTube videos on your site. And then I do want to note before we move on, you can upload items to your actual WordPress website. We, we really don't recommend that. That bloats your website and then it takes up a lot of storage. So your hosting provider will not be too happy with you. And that's why we always recommend using third party video provider like YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, things like that. So once this is installed and activated, we can come over to settings and then you want to go to the publisher tab. From here, we can see that we have affiliate links and a few other things. If we scroll down, now we have media tracking and it'll automatically enable the HTML5. That's if you're uploading to your own website and embedding HTML5 videos. Also, it automatically enables YouTube videos and Vimeo. Now that you have everything set up, you can start to see the analytics in the analytics dashboard. You'll want to go to Google Analytics and let's head over to Behavior, Events, and we want to do top events. And this will show you what all is going on. You see, we now have video YouTube. You'll also see if you have a video of Vimeo video, then you'll see video dash Vimeo. If you have an embedded one, then you'll see video dash HTML. And then you can click on it. So if I click on video YouTube, these are all of the events that have happened with all of the videos that I have embedded on my site. 
you see impression, you see video start, video progress, and video complete. If video start, that means they at least watched some of the video, less than 25%. If there's video progress, then that means that they at least got to the 50% mark. And for video complete, they finished watching the video. The impressions are how many times the video was shown to them to click on it. If you click on any of these, you'll see the exact video that was watched. For instance, both of these were watched to completion. So then you'll know what type of videos that you might want to make more of, or if people aren't even watching through a quarter of them, maybe they're not interested in it or something's wrong with the video that you might need to remake it. And if creating videos is important for your website, watch this video next as I and I cover the six best video editing software, including the ones that we use for your videos. And I'll see you over there.